you know, there comes a point in every man's life where he reaches a breaking point. I'm just saying. All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Lifecraft server, season two. I am the Colonel. So glad you're here with me today. Today, I uh, am going to show you me working on this thing. Anyway, let's hop to it. Well, before we get started, I want to show you what's been going on around here. Truck pipe uh, added these lights. I think they look really great. I did try to put some lava, incorporate lava in here, but I just couldn't get it to work. At least I couldn't get it to where it would look good. But I think these look really great. Truck pipe had a good idea with these these lanterns. Next over in the shopping area, I had a couple of suggestions with the bear. Ozathoth let me know that uh, part of my bear was over the ocean. Therefore, it's a spawnable block. So I came over here to get that all fixed up. And that's over here where he placed the torch. I'm going to fix that with some carpet. And then Iceland Queen suggested that I put some wool on the back of the bear's ears so that the pink wouldn't show. I think that's a good idea, so I'm going to do that as well. Lastly, I'm going to replace this dirt. I think it'll look better if I just replace this dirt. I think that improves the overall look of the bear. And of course, this week I've done lots of mining, found quite a few diamonds. Wasn't very lucky with the ancient debris, but uh, did find a lot of diamonds. This week. Truck pipe also got us a beacon this week. Might have seen that on one of his streams. If not, I encourage you to check him out. It was quite fun mining with the beacon but let's get on with our main event here building this thing this is the area that i think it's going to take up so this is going to be my kelp farm and it's going to be somewhat modular to where i can build it up or across probably build it across as far as i can this uh farm is uh pretty much my own design but I'm taking things that I learned from Cubfan and from Tango and applying it to this farm. So, and right now it's just a concept in my head. Let's see if uh, we can get it put together. Here's the materials that I think I'm going to need. I'm going to need uh, some glass, some, some stuff for the walls, some redstone components, pistons, of course, of course, kelp. And then stuff, if I don't have enough observers, enough pistons, I have some material here that I can uh, work with. Uh, and we have iron over here in the furnaces. I'll need to go get a stack of that just in case. And I have another stack of glass burning. I'm not quite sure how much of that I'm going to need. So... here and if I need to I will go to shopping district and uh, buy some iron from Cosmo let's uh, let's get started on this thing let's uh, turn it from a concept in my mind to reality and we'll start off by laying some bricks oh. And it's going to be three wide. This is going to just be uh, won't be any kelp growing here. Just kelp growing here and here. So this is going to be the inner, inner portion of it. And so it's going to the kelp's going to grow, but get kicked off, it's going to flow up, and then it's going to fall into this trench in the middle. And 
That's how I have it in my head at the moment. But uh, let's keep it going. I'm going to put some torches there. And I'm just going to start building. Probably turn this into some sort of time lapse. I want to put some uh, glass in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you gotta love these bats. Just pester you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like each one of these things will have 14 places where kelp can grow. Okay. Have you ever noticed how when you start chasing them, they, well, they're probably chaotic. Uh. All right. I want to get a stone cutter. I'll be right back. And a couple of buckets of water. This is a test, basically. put some uh, lights in I think I think the kelp grows better with lights so I'll probably put some lights here in the floor we can do glowstone yeah. I don't know if it helps but uh, I'm gonna do that anyway It's coming right along. Oh, well, maybe you got the idea. Let's get these. I always have the funnest time uh, placing these. This is why I brought the scaffolding. Uh, I think after I build this first couple of ones, that everything will be. 
lot easier. Let's see if this is right. No, it's not. So, oh, and also too, this is why. Yeah, I needed to move it over one. <laughs> I wanted it to be level with that. This, uh, there's going to be another row of blocks that come out this way. And I wanted it to be flush with that. Let me clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, I pretty much got it cleaned up and I moved it over. Started replacing the blocks. These in the corners. Oops. Got a finger spasm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the water in. That way it makes it a little bit easier getting out. I love those bats, I guess. So that'll grow up, and then I'm gonna have these observers right here. Placing these things, I always get confused. I placed them the wrong way. I did that with the sheep farm. Placed them the wrong way the first time. These will fire when I place the water in, but that's okay. All right, I need some more glass and some steps. four that's why I did four of these for this row okay. all right Glass. okay It's one, one more row water. Yeah. Dang it. I do that every time almost. Probably better if I didn't place the, the redstone. There we go. So those will all rise up like they are now. And then I'll need to put one more level of here okay so the question
question is, what happens right here? It does go up. All right. All right, I need some slabs. All right. And the one thing I didn't do I need water. That'll go down. That'll go down. Okay. Alright, and that's my modular design. All done. I will probably slab the top or I will start the next. If I had another module on top, I could start the next module on top. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another one. I'm ready to watch this thing work. Now what I might do too is I might uh, start this next module right here. And that way I can play off of these and they'll kick each other off. All right, that's already working. It's awesome. That is awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, so, yeah, I got this idea from Cup Fan, actually, with his uh, modular, not modular, but his uh, kelp farm design. And then in this middle trough, the stuff will be flowing this way, get picked up. And then I will probably have some sort of collection system that picks everything up and then goes smelts everything automatically. That is that is my plan. Awesome. All right, well, I'm going to work on this next one, and then I will come back. All righty, I got the second module made. It gives me 28, 28 plants right now. I think I'm going to make uh, 28 more. Another module here and a, mod a module here. And then if I do anything else after that, I'll either go back that way or I will build up. But uh, I think that right now this is pretty good. Alrighty, we're back in this. About to finish up this last module here. Gives us eight distinct modules. For a total of, let me see if I can do the math. That would be 112 plants in total. So far, I'm pretty uh, happy with the results. I'm just going to put in this last layer of water here. Break off these slabs. So that this one will be all ready. Into the center trench there, and I'm gonna put that place that's redstone. Try to do a little bit of clean up here, a little bit of lighting. Oh, good, it fired. Some redstone on this side. And that one's already hit the observer. Let's break it. Okay. 
And right now I have it going over here into the side, but I think I'm going to change it up. Yeah, I did change it up. Uh, it's all going to the center. As you can tell, it's just dropping into the center there. I got a trench going underneath. All the units coming out the back end. So where I dug it out just a little bit, place some blocks. And then over here in the back side, or yeah, this side, got a little trench and some ice. And this is where I'm going to have the collection area. But probably what I'll do is I'll probably raise it up and have it drop into a cart, and then I'll have it automatically cook. That's the goal, anyway. But uh, that's the amount of kelp I've gotten so far just from building this thing. So I might have to make a few adjustments here. Yeah, so let's uh, do that. Oh no. Oh man. Dang it. <laughs> well, how do you like that? How do you like that? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, had all my stuff there. Yeah, such is life. <laughs> I spilled out. I didn't even realize there was any uh, city in there. Well, got to re start working on replacing all my stuff. Let's go ahead and make all my gear and all my tools. Got to love it. Luckily, I found a lot of diamonds at the beginning. Might as well, I've got to start building up my levels as well. Got to get those enchantments. Well, that's about all the time I have for you today. As you can tell, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Just uh, retooling my stuff. Getting my enchantments back and all that jazz. want to thank you for joining me. Please leave a like if you liked what I've done. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the others on the LifeCraft server. Their, their uh, information is down below in the description. Thank you so much. Bye.